Radio talk show, The Savage Nation, and here he is, Michael Savage. Oh, how sappy. How sappy. But since it's twilight time, not only uh, figuratively, but uh, realistically for America, I uh, have decided to play Twilight Time by the Platters. It's a, it's a beautiful tune. It's a beautiful tune for America's constitutional republic. Now, here's the headline on michaelsavage.com, the one website that tries so hard to please you with pictures. There's a picture of a beautiful woman on the top right. And the headline says, was it her or Benghazi? Now, it's a question, of course, that requires some knowledge in order to answer it. Why would I post a picture of a beautifully coiffed woman with beautiful eyes and ask, was it her or Benghazi? Because the resignation of the CIA director today, Mr. Petraeus, stunned the political, military, and intelligence establishments. We hear it was an investigation by the FBI that uncovered the fact that he was having an affair. And, of course, being the head of the CIA, you can't have an affair. Now, that didn't apply to uh, Bill Clinton, who was commander-in-chief and had an affair with Monica Lewinsky. As commander-in-chief, he should have resigned because he was the chief, uh, the head of the military. But at that time, all of the corrupt liberals said it was shenanigans. It was just a boy being a boy. It was something to overlook. It was the right wing smearing Clinton. Let him have a good time. That's what we heard. But we hear no one rushing to Petraeus' defense today except we evil right wingers. Now, why do you think this hero was basically purged from the military today, sort of a day after the election, because they say they discovered these uh, emails on Wednesday after the election. It's simple. Don't even call me. I don't even need a call on this. He was supposed to testify next week about the death of our ambassador in Libya, and now, because he's no longer CIA director, they said he won't be able to testify. Now, unto itself, that makes no sense to me. I don't care whether he's a current or former CIA director, he could still testify. But you see, things are different in America now. Now that the most corrupt administration in history with the most corrupt media in American history has gotten what they want, strange things are happening. And one of our great generals, and by the way, this guy was not a desk jockey. You don't know the history of uh, Petraeus. This guy was the real McCoy. He was a quiet uh, diligent leader and a very good bureaucrat and technocrat, but he was also a paratrooper and a combat veteran, unlike the fat liars who have fired him, the fat, useless degenerates who dug up this information just to get rid of 